English opening, four knights, kingside fianchetto line, four, d5 5 dot cx d5 nx d5 6 dot bg2 nb6 7 dot oob7 8 dot d3 oo. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Black got the best of white in that end game. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. A knight is developed, the d5 square is under control, and the e4 square is attacked by nf6. nf3 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e5 pawn. nc6 develops the knight, defends the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g2, where it will take up residence on the long diagonal. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This strikes a rival knight. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is the last book move. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to win material. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This exposes a pawn attack. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only move that works. It is best. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. 
a pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This reveals an attack on a rook. This threatens to win a bishop. It is good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is excellent. Although black is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. White was once in a worse situation, but they are currently down. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that you might win a queen. It is incorrect. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. This permits the opponent to capture the checking bishop. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This disregards a superior strategy for defending a piece that was being attacked. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it? It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It's compelled. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This pins a bishop to the king. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. 
the opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Black got the best of white in that end game. This defends the attack rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Black got the best of white in that end game.